So check this out. We have this drum on a beaker filled with glycerin oil and I'm injecting dye at four different locations. The drum core and the beaker walls can rotate independently. Here I'm going to slowly rotate the beaker walls while I keep the drum fixed. We'll do two full rotations and as we can see the dye appears to have fully mixed, right? Well, let's see. I'll slowly rotate the beaker now backwards two full rotations. If it was really mixed, that process should not be reversible, right? Well, as we can obviously see here, the dye fully returns to the original locations, pretty much unmixed. So that means that the dye never mixed to begin with. So this shows some really deep insight into the fundamentals of turbulence. The process of stirring the fluid caused by a vortex is completely reversible, but the molecular diffusion isn't. So when we consider the effect of molecular diffusion, we see that the dye can spread in space. But the vortex has the role of bringing different regions of the fluid very close together by winding them so many times that they become really closely packed. As the sheets get closer and closer, the timescales of diffusion become smaller and smaller, which catalyzes the mixing. So this is why turbulence is so effective at mixing a fluid, because it greatly enhances the molecular diffusion process by winding and crinkling the internal surfaces of the fluid volume and bringing them microscopically close together. Pretty cool, huh?